What's up, Matt Clark here at the new Matt Clark Methadone versus Suboxone. My opinion. Please watch the whole video so you get my full point. Thank you for watching at the new Matt Clark. Clark here at the new Matt Clark. How are each and every one of you doing on this Wednesday morning? I'm doing amazing. First day of my vacation. I'm off the rest of the week till Monday. So that's great. I hope each and every one of you are great. I want to say thank you to each one of my 1,075 subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. We're growing. The movement is real. Uh, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that bell notification button. And if you could just share, spread the message, that's big too. And if you would like to support the channel, there's definitely a PayPal option. And if not, that's great too. So today, we are going to speak on methadone versus Suboxone. So, uh, I'm on Suboxone. I've come down from 20 mils to 3 mils. Uh, and I'm going to tell you what I think of that and what I think of methadone. So, methadone is a full agonist. It will bind to your opioid receptors, act exactly the same as heroin, Dilaudid, anything like that. Whereas Suboxone is a partial agonist antagonist. So, in the presence of a full agonist such as heroin, codeine, hydrocodeine, anything like that, uh, the Suboxone will act as an antagonist. So, if you are dependent on the full agonist, then you will be put into precipitated withdrawals. It will bind to your opioid receptors and not allow them to work, shooting you into some crazy, crazy, crazy withdrawals, which are worse than any natural withdrawals uh, that would occur just from coming off the dope by itself. Also, if you use the antagonists such as Suboxone uh, and then use a full agonist afterwards, it will be binded to your receptors, working as a blocker, therefore wasting most of the dope that you would be using. Therefore, if you're on Suboxone, it's really no point to continue using, uh, that's my opinion. So obviously my opinion is going to be a little biased as I'm on Suboxone and have successfully used Suboxone for probably three years now. Uh, now I went on Suboxone for harm reduction. I was not in active use when I went on Suboxone. So obviously my case is a little different. And I know for some people being on Suboxone doesn't work uh, because they were in such a deep, pit of addiction with heroin or fentanyl which are very strong 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 opioids and sometimes fentanyl just doesn't hack it but I also feel that methadone is more for harm reduction uh, than it is recovery as opposed to suboxone because methadone to me still gets you high and I know a lot of people say that they don't get high when they're on methadone but you see people who are on high doses of methadone they're all like this now, I'm not saying that nobody on methadone sex successfully recovers, right? Because I know lots of people that have. But I also know that it's a lot more difficult to come off of than Suboxone. And it ends up being a long-term situation for a lot of people. And I know I've been on Suboxone for three years. Uh, but I'm only on like th two and three quarter mils, just under three mils. And I plan on being off probably, hopefully, by the end of the year. But who knows, right? Because I am a little scared because I know withdrawals are coming. And anybody who's been through opioid withdrawals knows that they are scary. But I feel like methadone clouds your judgment a little bit, right? And I feel like being somebody who works, who needs to be active, who's on my feet 12 hours plus a day, I can't be on methadone because uh, from what I've seen and what I've experienced in the past, most people that are on high doses of methadone... Uh, end up going on the nod, right? And I can definitely not be like that at my work. Uh, I work with heavy equipment. And to me, Suboxone doesn't cloud my judgment at all. Doesn't intoxicate me one bit. And honestly, the things that it has done to my brain is amazing. Like, I do not have the cravings that I used to have. And although when I was inside, sometimes I would 
I would uh, subvert my Suboxone so I could trade for weed and, and tobacco and stuff like that. Since I've been on Suboxone, I have not had cravings to use hard drugs. And I know that's not the case for everybody, but I'm saying in my case, that's been amazing. It has totally changed my life. It has changed my outlook on addiction. It has changed my outlook on how drugs work on the brain. And it has totally helped me formulate my uh, recovery plan. Now I know because I went on Suboxone for harm reduction, it's a little hypocritical for me to say that I believe methadone is more for harm reduction than it is for actually trying to achieve sobriety. I think that's the government's kind of way of trying to control you. And I think that Suboxone is the same, but I do think that there's an easier path to recovery from Suboxone and total sobriety and recovery. But uh, what I will say is that Methadone is super important, okay, because there are a lot of people that put their lives, their health, their, their safety at risk every day to try to get their drugs, right? And they're not necessarily prepared to get sober or fully achieve recovery. But what we do need is harm reduction and what we do need is a safe place for them to get high so that they're not doing that. Now, I feel that that's where methadone is its most successful. I feel that methadone can get people out of the streets uh, a lot better and more successfully than Suboxone. And I believe that methadone can definitely keep people off the hard narcotics like heroin and Suboxone better. Now, I was a heroin addict for 10 years, a drug addict for 20 years, and Suboxone worked for me. But like I said before, I never went on to Suboxone in active use. So how do I know how I would have reacted with Suboxone if I was? Now, uh, if I was to rate the two against each other, pros and cons, I would definitely give the slight nudge to Suboxone because I feel like the fact that it doesn't have the same intoxicating effects, it, it, it allows you to really work on yourself and really have the clarity to dig deep and see what's really affecting you. You know, and, uh, you know, if that's my opinion and people disagree with me, then that's fine, right? And that's why I said before that this video is strictly on my opinion. But if I would have to recommend one of the two, I would de definitely recommend Suboxone. I mean, the first choice would be neither, right? Like, obviously, you would want to achieve sobriety without having to go on either Suboxone or Methadone because both of them are difficult challenges to come off of. And both of them can end up being lifelong handcuffs, right? So I would say if you're the kind of person that has the will, if you're at the point in your, in your uh, addiction that you've just had enough and you know that just by going through a few days of detox and just toughing it out for a week or two that you could get through it, then I would suggest that you do that, okay? But I also know that there's a lot of people that can't do that and that's scary for them and that the only path they see to recovery is through Suboxone and Methadone. And honestly, that was my path. Because when, when I, before I was on Suboxone, I was still trapped mentally in my addiction, even when I wasn't using. So, uh, meaning, I would constantly be thinking about how am I going to live the rest of my life without getting high? How am I going to uh, uh, get out and see the people that I that I hang around with and not want to use and and I was still really not sold on the change but as soon as I was able to get the Suboxone into my system I was able to relax and stop worrying about that and uh, it really gave me the time to focus which allowed me to put in the time in order to get the recovery that I needed uh, and allowed me to go to Stonehenge Therapeutic Community in Guelph, Ontario which is great it's difficult it's six months in-house intense treatment. Uh, it's for federal offenders and non-federal or provincial offenders. Plus, you can go there and provincial offender, but you can also just go from the street. I'm pretty sure it's covered by OHIP. You should check it out if you need help. Uh, and I would just say, man, I don't mean to alienate anybody. If somebody disagrees with me, then that's fine. I'm totally open for discussion. And I do not think that either Suboxone or Methadone or however somebody feels like is the best way for them to get recovered is bad. Because what works for you works for you. And I'm not here to judge. Uh, I do things differently, right? I smoke marijuana. 
and I use Suboxone. So who am I to say, right? But anyways, I hope this video was informative. I hope that you enjoy the content. Please hit that like button, that subscribe button, that bell notification button. Uh, and please, if you could, just share. It's the free way to help support the channel. Uh, and also I have a PayPal option if you'd like to donate and support the channel. If not, it doesn't matter. Your love is all the same. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting me here, the new Matt Clark.